I'm here! I'm not dead, I'm here. I just took a little bit of a hiatus to work in my car because filming and working is difficult when you're trying to do a good job. You know what I mean? Not that the 240, well, I didn't do a good job on that. I did a good job on that. This is just a different animal. Either way, I'm back. Welcome to Clapdown. So if you have been paying attention to the clapped out social channels, you'll notice that it's been a little bit of a ghost town lately in terms of videos. I pull my weight. I don't know where Ryan and Josh are with their videos, but you know, me, I've done like the last six or seven videos. It's not like a big deal. I'm not keeping track of the analytics or anything. I'm just like, you know, I'm an overproducer. Anyway, like not passing judgment, just, you know, pull your weight, guys. So today I'm gonna do a quick overview on where the FD project is. And then I'm gonna fanboy out pretty hard. And I'm sure if this dude sees this, he's gonna be like, oh my God, this kid's a whack job. Which is good for me, because that's the impression I wanna give everybody. Not that I give whack jobs, but I'm a whack, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I gotta, you know what, I gotta put, I gotta go no prep style on this, backwards hat and everything. There we go, now, now I'm equipped to talk. No prep life, you wanna race on ice? We'll race on anything! Put the glassy ice tune up in there, boy. What's well, that? You wanna put a quart of oil down for 60 feet? Well, we got a gallon of oil in the trailer. Pour a gallon of oil, boys. Put the gallon of oil tune up in her. Whew. I'm dizzy from all that screaming. I done raced in Dubai on sand. I could hook on water, boy. Get the paddle tires, put the Race on water tuna pinner. Anyway, back to normal, not no prep hat style. We're gonna go over what the cars got done and then we're gonna jump into the fanboy stuff, which is my favorite. So, we got the dash back inner, which was a feat in itself. Carbon cluster surround, Holly dash is mounted, HVAC carbon pieces in, new quick release is in, fire suppression system is in, the brake lines are done. The hydraulics are done. The uh, roll cage has been padded, and this is foreshadowing. Just look at how good that carbon fiber two protector looks. Just a little foreshadowing. Don't worry about it. We're gonna come back to it. We began mounting parachute cable. If you look up here, Storm and Norman got me a parachute cable mount. So this holds that, that thing steady. So when I go to boo, grab my chute, we're good to go. And we got our G-Sensor mounted. It's not the G-Sensor I normally mount, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Any family members don't judge me for that last line. I didn't mean it. But what I did here, let me crawl in. So we got our Holly EFI, which is awesome. Holly EFI to the front. Thank you, Holly EFI, the best people in the world, hollyefi.com. Anyway, I don't think hollyefi.com is the website. Just Google Holly Performance and then you'll find the parts. I have these back braces now that Storm and Norman welded up. So I took these back brace mounts, I used this, the lower clamshell of both, flipped them around, some sticky tape and felt, mounted my G-sensor there, Allen heads, two protector, foreshadowing. We got the rear panels in. I had to make, these are chintzy, I didn't do a good job cutting these out, but I had to make these little um, brackets, I guess, with push pins, so this would stay in, because the mounts are normally on the bottom and then top, but they won't work with how much I had to cut out of the rear, um, the rear plastic coverings. So I had to make my own mounts. I had to get this stuff in. I had to trim this rear panel situation and I still have to finish where the bins used to go. We got, we got the battery box mounted. I think I might've already shown you guys this, but the battery box is mounted. You know what? There's a battery in there. Just pretend. I don't want to take it all apart. Battery is mounted. We have our Fuel pump leads, those are just power wires from our leash box, which I'll show you. We have our solid state relay cutoff switch mounted. So now when I want to cut the battery off, I don't have a big honking dingle dick cutoff. That's gone. What I have now is a widow button. That's all there is to it. I made a little carbon fiber surround for that too, to go with my carbon fiber theme. Now, under the dash, you're going to see the fire suppression system, the bottle. The pull cord is on an extreme angle, and this sucks. 
So I bought a whole new fire, a pole, cord, shoot, whatever. It's just, it's, it's been a long couple weeks. Just, just bear with me for a bit on this one, guys. I bought a new release cable. I cut this one too short. So I bought a new one. I'm gonna route it down and I'm gonna P-clamp it to the tunnel. And that way the actual cable has a straight shot and it's not bending back and forth. So if I have to pull the fire release, I'm not in trouble. Um, underneath here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but underneath here, you can see my leash street strip wiring board. That's an important piece. So one of the things I did when I, before I took the car to the body shop to AutoCraft is I stripped all the OEM wiring out of the car. 1993 wiring harnesses everywhere just bugged the hell out of me. And I wanted something simple and effective. The leash street strip wiring board is a whole video in itself. So I can't get into detail on that, but that now powers my headlights, my tail lights. It'll power my fuel pumps. It'll power um, a couple different accessories, my line lock, so on and so forth. But again, I will get into that in another video. There's just not enough time. And I'm sure you don't want to hear me yak and yak and yak and yak without showing you the fanboy stuff that I have to show you. So we also got the fuel system lines all run you have your main feed that comes down yonder goes to a filter this will go to a y to feed the front of the rails and then you have the return coming out of the pressure regulator hugging the side there coming down the firewall i'm sorry the frame rail and then running to the back but one issue i have is zip ties everywhere that are just going to gunk up my paint and uh, obviously these clamps i just don't like it it gives me a weird feeling in my plums if only somebody made some sort of protector for the for the tubes. Remember earlier, I was like, it's foreshadowing. This is what I was talking about. So I say I'm fanboying out, and the honest truth is I'm a huge fan of, uh, of this guy's work, and I'm a huge fan of the videos he puts out. This guy's name is Tim McAmis. He still hasn't accepted my friend request on Facebook. I'm not like upset about it. I mean, I haven't slept in a few months because of it, but it's whatever. But Tim McAmis, if you haven't seen his stuff, Tim McAmis Performance Parts, he is like the most brutally honest, just <laughs> straight up guy when it comes to performance stuff. He is, he is an icon in my opinion, and he's one of my idols in the performance industry. He's hilarious. And uh, because of that, I, I've always wanted to buy parts from his, uh, from his company, but I've never had a car that needed anything that he sells. He sells like top-notch, full chassis, your balls to the wall racing. He doesn't sell stuff. I mean, he does, he sells stuff for everything, but this is like purpose-built racing. Um, so when the opportunity came for me to buy some stuff from Tim McAmis for my car, I jumped and I pounced on the opportunity. Pew! Look at that. Look at that. Sweet, dude. What is it, Logan? Those are carbon fiber tube protectors. Okay, they look like this when they're taken out of the package. He has two different sizes. There's one for uh, inch and a half to inch and five eighths, or maybe inch and three quarters. And then there's one for inch and a quarter to inch and a half, I think is the segments. I don't know, there's a big and a small. The small stuff is for accessory bars. The big stuff is for roll bars, obviously. Um, and my problem is I don't wanna run zip ties on top of the fresh paint, but uh, there's nothing I can really do except if I protect the tubes with some carbon and make it look good at the same time. Now, I was under the impression it was gonna be a pain to get this stuff to fasten. I was under the impression it was a pain to shape. Um, and I was kind of concerned about it. I'm gonna show you the finished product and then I'm gonna show you how to get there if you wanna do it yourself. So this is, this is my finished product, the rounded edges all the way down. Now the cage bends in, so I have to have two pieces. You can see here how far down it goes. When you get in, you kick your feet over the bars. That'll act as a protector to you. And then obviously this one, same deal rounded edges across the edge or across the end there with my g-sensor and the rear i mean realistically these two covers are completely unnecessary they don't need to be protected but it looks cool and i had extra so why the hell not and another completely unnecessary is these up here they don't need to be there the reason they're here is because when i put the dash in i'm a gorilla and i scratch the hell out of the cage so carbon fiber tube protectors so how do we cut, trim, fit, and install carbon fiber to protectors? It's really, really, really easy. I think Tim's do-it-yourself video is 13 seconds, which ironically is how long my first video on the internet was. 
take that for what it's worth. Step one, no prep hat so that light hits you in the face while you're filming. Step two is measure tw twice-ish. Cut once. So I want to run this. I don't want to interfere with my motor plate, so I give it some buffer. I'm going to run this. Looks about, man, I'm going to say 11 and a half inches. So I'll cut 11 and a half inch segment. The cutoff wheel is not ideal, but I don't have an air compressor. I don't have any air saw, which an air saw is way, way, way better. But this is all I got. So I marked out 11 and a half inches. I'm gonna cut, take a Dremel, and there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. So you're gonna take a Dremel and you're literally gonna just chip away at the corner until you form a curve to your liking. And then you're gonna blend that curve into the straight edge in a circular pattern. Alternatively, on the bigger tube, you can take like a cardboard or a paper two inch circle, lay it over and scribe, and then use an air saw to cut the scribed cur uh, circle that you've placed. Um, this is just simple for me because I, again, I don't have air tools. So if I just sand the edges down on each side, I can make a nice little curved transition for the ends of both sides. And there you go. Just a little sanded down curve. I'll take some fine sandpaper and I'll run it along the edges to get rid of these little hairs. Do the same to the other side and we'll have a piece that's ready for installation. Next, we're gonna take some silicone adhesive. The clear silicone is, is awesome, but I have this already, so I'm using this. And you're gonna just, a little dab will do ya um, every few inches there. And not in, like maybe a dime size so it doesn't peel out when you go to tighten it down. But um, I'll put some on there and show you what it looks like. And there you go, just a little bit of silicone, nothing crazy. And then you're gonna line it up exactly where you want it on the bar. Okay, just set it there. You don't have to push down yet. I'm gonna make it squared up with both ends. Cool, right there. And then you're literally gonna just press down and wrap the center with masking tape and then, or painter's tape and then at the ends, wrap, and then if you want some extra security, you can wrap every inch or so. And when you're done, that's what it's gonna look like. Uh, I let it set overnight. In the morning, I peel the tape off, and your final product is gonna look like that. On there, solid. Solid. Really churches it up. Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary at all. But was a carbon fiber roof necessary? No. Was tubing the front end necessary? No. Was taking that reliable, awesome running rotary out and putting an unreliable pistons and rods V8 in, was that necessary? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was 100% necessary. Absolutely necessary. So, that's all I got. I don't, I, again, I have to focus and uh, I'm gonna do another video on some of the wiring stuff. I have a long spiel to go over the Holly EFI parts that are going into this car. Honest to God, without Holly EFI in my corner, shout out Jeff Teal, Colin Kinzer, and Jeff. Jeff in marketing, the absolute best person to work with. Shout out to those guys. They've been amazing. The customer service has been amazing next to nobody. Thank you guys for the service, I appreciate that. All of the support and uh, all the help along the way has been great from everybody that's involved in the project, A to Z. Make sure you check out the comments for that. And the last thing I have is a new release. So I drew this up and uh, we put it online and it got a good response. So we printed them up, limited quantities. Let me show you. We have our all new YCSYPIYN shirts. If you're, if you're wondering, Logan, what does that stand for? You can't shit your pants if you're naked. That's what that means. Say it again. You can't shit your pants if you're naked. And on the back, a revised chopping trees. Look at that. The old bear with the, you can't shit your pants if you're naked. There you go. These are live on the website right now clappedout.com slash store or just clappedout.com. Those shirts are available. We have about 100 in stock total. I haven't checked inventory since we put them up live, so that's probably at least one shirt sold because I bought one. 
But um, if you guys get a chance, if you want a t-shirt, go ahead and purchase one. If you don't, I don't blame you. I don't like buying t-shirts online, it's weird. But thank you so much for following and watching. One like, one subscribe, one share means the world to us. Thank you guys for the support, we appreciate it. And until next time, I'm gonna get to work sweating. Everybody have a great day.